Nine signs of depression that shouldn't be ignored. We all feel sad at times, it's part of life. However, if the feeling of sadness persists, if you cannot seem to get any pleasure out of life, have problems sleeping, or feel tired at all times, then you might have depression. Depression is more than sadness. It is a severe disorder that affects 16 million Americans every year. However, only 35.5% seek professional help. Unfortunately, people don't take it too seriously or they are ashamed to ask for help for fear that they might seem weak or unable to deal with their own problems. So, as a friend or family member, you should always watch out for the main signs of depression and convince your dear ones to seek medical help. In this video, we will talk about nine signs of depression that shouldn't be ignored. Before we proceed, please note that everything mentioned in this video is unbiased, fact-checked, and reviewed by qualified health professionals. With that said, let's jump in. Number 1. Asking to be alone. If your dear ones don't want to leave their house or room for days, you should start worrying a bit. People who are repeatedly asking to be left alone with their own thoughts might be battling depression without even knowing it. We can say that depression doesn't like other people. People suffering from depression spend lots of time alone, feeling sorry for themselves and not communicating with others. They will pretend they are fine, but isolate themselves from the world, even give up on their normal daily routine. They usually believe it's just a passive phase, that they are stuck, but can unstuck themselves from the situation. However, this is highly unlikely. Without professional help, depression will not go away easily. In fact, it can get worse. Number 2. Anhedonia Anhedonia is the inability to feel pleasure or enjoy certain things in life. It is a very common symptom of depression. So when your friends no longer enjoy doing the things they used to call fun, you should start asking questions. It is easy to ignore anhedonia. Imagine you call your friend to go to the basketball court and shoot some hoops, and he says he doesn't feel like it. What do you do? You leave him be, thinking that maybe he's not in the mood. However, if your friends continue to avoid practicing the hobbies they once deemed fun, you should check in on them. Number 3. Hopelessness Hopelessness is like a dark hole that people with depression can easily slide into. It goes without saying that depression affects the way you feel about life in general, so hopelessness is a result of that. Having dark thoughts or always saying things like, whatever, what for, what's the point, could represent signs of depression. Feelings of worthlessness, self-hate, and guilt are major depression red flags. Don't let your friends or family fall down this rabbit hole of hopelessness. Don't let them blame themselves for everything or feel like their lives are meaningless. Check in on them and try to convince them to seek professional help. Liking our video so far? Before we move on to the next sign, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on our new informative videos. Number 4. Fatigue and Sleep Issues if your friends manifest all the above symptoms and also feel tired all the time, then they might be dealing with depression. Depression plays with our internal clock, disturbing our daily routines and regular activities. Therefore, depression can trigger all sorts of sleep issues like nightmares or insomnia. People with depression will stay up all night because they can't stop thinking negative thoughts. Lack of proper sleep will result in a continuous state of fatigue and irascibility. If your friend is not able to sleep or has low energy levels, then they might be dealing with depression. Sometimes depression can disturb our sleeping patterns in the way that we sleep too much. Some people suffering from depression might sleep all day long. They lack the motivation and willingness to get out of bed, and even if they do, they talk and move around like they are in a slumber. These can also represent signs of depression. Make sure your friends and family manifesting these symptoms see a professional. Number 5. Appetite Changes Depression can also mess with our appetites and weight. Gaining or losing more than 5% of the body weight in a month can be a sign of depression. It's true, changes in your eating habits can be caused by a lot of other things. However, if they are also followed by fatigue, hopelessness, and a lack of pleasure, that might point to depression. 
People with depression might lose interest in cooking or simply don't have the energy anymore. They might also deal with nausea and a loss of appetite. Depression can also trigger emotional eating, where the need to eat has nothing to do with physical hunger. In fact, we eat to fill the emotional void in our lives. Eating changes the chemical balances in the brain and temporarily improves the mood. So, people dealing with depression might indulge themselves as a response to their emotions. Whenever you observe this worrying behavior towards eating, please refer to a professional for help. Depression is no joke or a simple sadness. It does not just pass. Number 6. Distractions People suffering from depression can listen to music a lot, compulsively clean the house every day, or even exercise like crazy. Yes, cleaning is not bad. However, when you are obsessed with cleaning anything and everything, it might be a sign of depression. People with depression can use such daily activities as distractions, trying to stop the negative thoughts in their head. Running and physical exercise can help a lot of people with depression. At the end of your routine, you feel you've accomplished something, conquered that extra mile or lifted that extra weight. Depression makes you think that you haven't accomplished anything in life, so going for a run daily can kick depression out for a while. However, you should also go see a professional. You can't beat depression just by running. Music can also tell us a lot about somebody's mood. So if your friends would previously enjoy listening to old rock and roll and then suddenly they switch to soft and sad songs, they might be down in the dumps. So check in on them and see how they're doing. This is not an exact sign of depression, but it can be a telltale in certain situations. Number 7. Developing Unhealthy Habits People try to instinctively cope with depression by finding distractions and developing certain bad habits. Some really disturbing habits include picking skin until marks are left, pulling one's hair, biting nails really bad, or taking up smoking, heavy drinking, and other bad habits like these. They can serve as distractions to keep people's minds occupied and not entertain negative thoughts. However, these bad habits can hurt you, and sometimes depression can lead people to hurt themselves. These are serious cases that need immediate attention from a professional. Number 8. Anxiety Anxiety is a disorder in itself. It hasn't been proven that anxiety causes depression or vice versa. However, these two conditions often occur together. The first symptoms of anxiety that might appear are nervousness, restlessness, and a certain unease. They might evolve in panic attacks, fear, and terror. These extreme feelings can trigger rapid heart rates and breathing, as well as heavy sweating and even muscle twitching. Moreover, if you notice your friends have trouble focusing on a task, or if you see them fixating their mind on a single thing and being worried about it all day, then you need to take them to see a professional. Anxiety disorders are probably the most common mental health conditions affecting 18% of the American population. In most cases, anxiety and depression coincide, so don't ignore the signs. They are serious. Number 9. Temper Sudden bad temper could also be a sign of depression. Irritability is more common in men dealing with depression rather than in women. Men are usually raised with the belief that they shouldn't shed a tear, shouldn't get emotional. So whenever they feel down, they tend to burst out in fits of rage to hide their real problems. In fact, studies show that men are less likely than women to admit depression and seek treatment for it. However, depression is not a joke. If you have had some of these symptoms or have friends who exhibit these signs of depression, you should seek a specialist's help. Admitting you have depression is the first step towards healing. You are not the only one feeling depressed at the moment. It's not a shame. It's not a sign of weakness. Mental health is more important than anything. Put it first. There is treatment for depression, varying from medication to lifestyle changes. Only a professional can help you on the right path to healing. Seeking help for mental health is normal. Never forget that. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. Your wellness is our mission.